Cheers. It's like a podcast. Like for a podcast, you have to like sit in, like this, and we have to chat like we're talking. I know, but the first one we're telling them about it. It's okay, Steph. We don't have to follow the rules. No, I'm just practicing of podcasting. No, I'm practicing podcasting. But it can be whatever we want it to be. Mm. Kind of like our sugar cookie latte that we made exactly how we wanted, and then panicked because it seemed like our order was incorrect. Is it hot still? I mean, yeah. is it too hot? No. Mm-mm. I don't trust you. It's never hot enough. Okay, I like so, that way better with one less. So I know what you guys may be thinking, and that's, gosh, you guys haven't uploaded over here in six years. And the story on that is we never really loved the decorating space DIY. Well, we thought we did. I mean, I do love set dressing, but I don't like decorating yeah, homes. But, yeah, but the whole thing was we were going to do DIY yeah. stuff. We don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that. It's it's not, it's it's a very, I think people who excel at that possess qualities that we don't have of like creativity and patience. And I'm, I'm going to find it, I'm going to find it somewhere on sale mm-hmm. or for less. And so that's more my feeling is I just want to find it. I'm very much about efficiency. Also, in the year that we launched this channel and started, like, attempting to do it, we were in a loft space where we had more means to, like, play with stuff. Whereas, in that year, we started a store, Madison Mallory, and we left the loft. So, it kind of, like, ended with the store. Right. Yeah. Starting. Yeah. And then, also, I was asking Steph, I was like, because this used to be called 11th GTV. But used to be a vlog channel. Chic, chic. Yeah. And I was like, why did we have... That if we had TNS. We also did our Invisalign journey on here. I remember the Invisalign journey for sure because I, no I went more back silly and watched teeth. old videos <laughs> yesterday. So, okay. It started out with 11th Gorgeous in 2009. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then very shortly after TNS was born, maybe It was 2010, Other Side of EG. Yeah, it was Other Side of EG. It was just our silly outtakes, extra videos. Catch all. It wasn't even vlogs yet. Whatever didn't think. fit into the beauty space. I don't even know when it actually became vlogs over there. I almost feel like that was just a silly catch-all. No, we did do some vlogs over yeah, there. We yeah, yeah. No, we've done, like, Disney vlogs and all kinds of... We did Vlogmas over there. I'm talking about even before Vlogmas, like, when we were doing, like, the flip camera. Like, yeah. Like, those days. We did so some vlogs. So, then it became, like, a... We were doing unboxings over like there. Hot like, sugar. Fab Hit Fun. Taste test content. It was, like, sit-down videos, but not beauty sit-down videos. So I think that's when 11th GTV was born because we were like, this is going to be our dedicated vlog, vlog channel. That yeah. lasted like two vlogs. <laughs> we, we just really didn't know what we wanted it to be. Well, and because then, then it became three channels is too much. Let's yeah. put the vlogs, vlogs, vlogs back on the other side of EG, TNS. And then it, insert whatever year it was, everybody started combining their stuff. So we started putting vlogs on 11th Gorgeous. And I just think it doesn't make sense to have a mishmash of stuff stuff on one channel. Although I did see a thing that said don't niche down anymore. Well, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that necessarily that 11th Gorgeous has to niche down because 11th Gorgeous can be um, anything we want it to be minus vlogs if we want yeah. it to be. And then the vlog channel can be vlogs about anything we want it to be. But also this channel could is potentially... We're, this is just... We're just wanting to talk to you guys and tell you what our thoughts are. We're thinking maybe we could have a podcast in January. And it's so funny because you know we wanted a podcast back when we were in our first location, which was like 2017, 2016, 2017. We've wanted a podcast for forever. Our Heather sister. Heather wanted to do a podcast. Like, we all wanted to do a podcast together since we, we don't live. We were going to call EG3. Yeah, it was going to be EG3. We, were, we even started stuff on it. Yeah. It just never It was hard happened. with her being, you know, in well, another state. We had state. the store then, and we were just hiring employees. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, do we have time for it now? Probably not. But we're going to figure it out because 2023 is the year... 2023, and it doesn't rhyme with EG. 2023, EG, boom. I don't know. No, but a lot of you guys have really said, I would love it if you guys had a podcast, and we love to talk. Our number one problem is we talk too much in videos, and so you know what you're going to be getting with a podcast. Yeah. You're going to be getting us talking. About anything and everything. For like an hour. And a couple things we need from you guys. One, actually, I would love to know. I, I would love to know. If you're watching this video right now, 
do you watch our 11th Gorgeous channel? Or this is this the first you've seen of us in six years? That's what I want to know. Okay, first. Second, we are still looking for that perfect podcast name. And I'm probably going to have to go back to a name generator like I did for 11th Gorgeous. Which so many people still don't know to this day what 11th Gorgeous is. It's so funny because I want this perfect from. podcast name. And I try to look at the podcasts that I watch. And I try to see like about it. The, there are some po- podcast names that I watch. And I don't even think anything about their name. And I'm like, that is... I'm not being judgy, but like I'm like that is a really random name. Do you know what I mean? So but then like, there's don't have some, to hang it all on that. right? But then there's some, and I'm like that's a really good name. So I don't really know like the best way to go about it. Like what, like does the podcast name? Should we make it about what we're talking about? Lord knows what we're going to be talking about yeah. because I don't really want to put a box around that either. No. Um, I love pop culture. I love talking about like like you know, like the Britney thing. Yeah. Like I'm very interested in like what's going on with Britney and. Um, so we want it to kind of be like this catch all everything and anything goes. I mean, it could be life relationships. It can talk. We can talk about like what, like at a, the stage in life, like that we're doing right now, like what, like our ages. Yeah. Well, like, so like, what does a weekend look like for you? You yeah. know, like what, you know, there are some things that I feel like our life chatting about our life would be different from what like your life would be. And like relating on things that like we're all doing right now and also like seeing what we're doing different. 18 more that I don't see. I don't know. And I think, you know, we're really excited about the idea of it being a video element as well. So not only will you have, you know, that podcast you can listen to in the car or at the gym or wherever you consume your podcast, but you could also watch it. And so get the best of both worlds. And we have options. We have options to film it in different places we could pick one location and have a set we could just film it in different places and make it a surprise would you guys like it in the car would you like it on a bus would you like it on a (laughs) bar (laughs) no but because we have our warehouse which we have opportunities and rooms to create sets (coughs) wow if we wanted to we've already been eyeing some really cute chairs at tj maxx and home goods for if we need some cute chairs we want this whole thing to be something that's fun and exciting you know it's a new year new us Ooh, we may even have a fitness journey i talked about it shut up shut up shut up i can do whatever i want to do (laughs) and i can believe that i'm gonna have a great fitness life in 2023 i'm making i'm making money moves you want to go to the gym on january 2nd yes do you know how packed that place is going to be? Yes. I think we're going to have to start with some at-home fitness until the people... And we can wear cute, our cute sets that we have from Madison and Mallory. Look, she's got things that need addressing, okay? This is a whole, whole thing over here. She's also doing things like she hasn't used... Now, you're going to be really proud of me. Are you ready for this? God. I have not used Pantene shampoo and conditioner in almost two weeks. Why? Because I realized when I was vlogging, like, I know there's a little bit of flyaways right now, but I realized how terrible my flyaways are when I use Pantene. And I was like, Tracy, if your hair is sticking up like that, it can't be good. What if we make this unedited? I don't care. We haven't really... No, we're just going. Just chatting. It's the unedited 11th GTV hour. I keep thinking there's I, somebody outside my window. I, you know, I was like, what if we call it the 11th hour? But then I Googled that. It's and been I taken. It's, I think it's a news political thing. Oh. So I was like, yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, and then I'm like, sister, sister. No, we're not Tia and Tamara. Never will be. Yeah. No one ever could be. No, we're not twins. But I mean, they're just, you know. People think we're twins. So we need a name. Sisters, not twins. <laughs> no, but like, I want it. That's the thing I'm talking about. Like, sometimes people will do the podcast name to describe like themselves Mm -hmm. but then sometimes they'll do it to describe like kind of the content the yeah and the theme of it and we don't really have a specific content but like that's why there needs to be a mix of like an essence of who we are versus like the kinds of things we talk about i was talking about it on our vlogmas video like last vlogmas or the vlogmas before and there's some kind of either jeopardy category or trivial pursuit or something where it's like this name and it's like encompasses everything yes and i want to say like smorgasbord but that's not what it is but it's good luck searching that in the uh podcast (laughs) i don't know how to spell that but it's something like that it's like and it's not like arts and entertainment or like and also the word we just call the podcast other (laughs) yeah that's because it's like it's like the category of like do you like this 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 other do you know how many times i'm doing things and i'm like nothing applies nothing applies i'm like other other. okay explain podcast 
the other podcast. We need help, guys. Clearly, we need help. We just need to, like, have a brain session think tank. How we did for Madison and Mallory, we had lists. Yeah, we did. It happened pretty fast. We were like, what about Madison and Mallory? And that was just how it was born. We could also even have, like, user-submitted content things, you know, where, like, I'm just really excited about this. We could also talk about owning a business. And I'm not talking about owning specifically, like, a clothing business, because a lot of the things that we do all apply to all businesses. To yeah. So, if you're interested in starting a business, even, like, like a small, like... Like, I don't know, making stuff kind of business. Like, you still have to kind of follow not only guidelines, but just, like, certain ways to, to go about doing things. Owning that a business help. is scary. If I had known well, Some of the people that work with us were like... What I know now... Who are like, do you... Um, are you guys interested in starting a business? Not nope. ever, never. Nope. I've seen all I need to see. Never want to do it. Like, if you... I'm good. If, if you want to own a business, but you're unsure, work in a small business. Where, like, you get to see more than what you would in, like, a corporate... Because yeah. you're not going to see it. And honestly, those are just two, to- they're totally different. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Owning your own business is, is terrifying. I have nightmares. I can't sleep at night sometimes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We love it. Yeah. We, we, I, you know, when it's really amazing and rewarding, it's so rewarding. And when it's terrifying. But isn't that life? Isn't that life? Probably. When life's good, it's good. And when life's bad, it's like, it, it's any aspect. Yeah. YouTube, I could parallel YouTube and our business 100%. When you're getting subscribers and views are good, it 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 does this thing to you that makes you feel good slash stable. Isn't that stable? the toxic side of social it's media? It's the toxic side of, of life, it. man. Yeah. I think it's like... Relying on numbers and things that fulfill you and not actual like... But it's not even being fulfilled and it's not even like deriving value from it. It's that... I Safety can net? breathe easy Safety because, net. yeah, because everything's going Not okay. crashing and burning. Right, right. You know that dog, that meme where it's like in the house and it's on fire and it's like, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Do you know that one? I don't think I do. Oh my God. <laughs> that That's what I feel like perfectly encompasses. Um, I just saw an email about something with Disney Springs and, uh, and margaritas and I really hope. It's an opportunity. It's not. It's not. It says holiday margarita. It's Disney Springs. Hey, you could bring us there to drink your margaritas. I'm trying to think. Like, I, what I, something that I don't know, and I don't know when I'll, or if I'll know it, is I don't have, I don't remember a time in my life. This is fine. I don't remember a time in my life where I wasn't really on social media and having those feelings of, like, because I was in high school, and it's I don't. You're on hotornot.com. No, that's not it. <laughs> um, no, well, I thought you were saying you don't remember a time not being on social media. And I was no, like, well, what social no, no. media? I'm was talking she about. On? Like I'm talking about like in high school. Like I don't remember what made me feel validated. I don't remember. I just was on the dance team, loved to dance, whatever. Had friends. It was fine. Social media wasn't really around back then. I don't need social media to feel validated. No, no, no not validated. I'm sorry. To have that like. Like, what, you know, like, in high school, okay, maybe my grades made me feel like the house wasn't on fire and crashing and burning. I think so. Maybe I mean, it was my grades. And yeah. then, but then college, maybe. And then also relationships. Like, I guess. do you have a good relationship with somebody? Like, I was very much relationship driven and, like, I did not want to be single. So, like, if I was single, I was upset. And if I had a relationship, I felt good. That I think there were, like, good. boys in high school that, that like... doesn't sound good. No, that, like, if if we had, like, a good... Because, like, there would be situations where, like, I liked a guy and, and he liked me, but, like, he was kind of pulling away and I was kind of chasing him, right? And so when he would give me attention, I think that was when I felt good. And then when he wouldn't, I would feel bad. So I think that was kind of the same thing, like, YouTube. When yeah. people watch me and give me attention, I feel good. And then when they go away and things go let's, down... Let's unpack that. <laughs> I mean, we need to have therapy sessions. For real. Yeah, because I definitely don't think that that's a healthy way of existing. It's not. And, and the, the great thing is, and I wish I could tell people this, because, you know, we get some people on our, our 11th Gorgeous YouTube channel, like, making fun of where our views are now. Tell Like, why are you still around? And I'm like, I don't think you understand how actually healthy it was and good it was for me to back away a little bit. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because, and I think and, we still struggle back and forth. We have times where we're building each other up about it, and we're like, hey, we had, like, a good you know, metric that did really well. Maybe it's not, you know, great views in a way, but it's like this performed better than that. But and when then, I tell you that the, the next time the other one will be like, Ugh, I can't go on. <laughs> I know and sometimes we don't we line up really poorly and we'll both like 
I'll the try to build her up. The seemed in a not great space, and I seemed in a better space. Maybe. I don't know. That was just me reading it from text messages. Because, like, you weren't ready, and you said you wanted to go to Disney. So, I think I think the thing was, so we've been kind of both later, and so I was kind of going along that train, and when you were ready, it threw me off. Yeah. And I was like, dang it. I don't know how it happened. It just um, did. But... But the YouTube views, YouTube in general has a different weight on me now than it did in the past. So, like, even though metrics can be down, like, when you are down about metrics, I really, I really don't get down about them anymore. Right now? Not where I am right now in my headspace right now. So, like, I think it was good to step away because I saw it. Like, I I was able to not, not have it fail, but in a sense have it kind of go away and be like, okay, like, if YouTube wasn't here for me. I would still survive. And then, but the store has replaced that. So, like, now the store is kind of that, that not validation, but a little bit of, like, we're not crashing and burning. If I could say anything about, like, you know, one thing that I miss about not owning a store and even just not having YouTube is that ability to not feel so much responsibility or, like, no, it's, like, I feel like I can't ever disconnect fully. Yeah. And, like, if I'm not always on that, walking that tightrope and balancing, that it we're all going to fall down. It's all on you. Well, not me. I'm just kidding. Not me, but, <laughs> like, that, you know, it's different than just having a job where you work for someone else. And, like, at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 4 o'clock, whatever your clock out time is, it's like you're done. Well, you're yeah, off. That, that company's success doesn't, like, it doesn't lay on you. Like, you, if that company went away, you could get another job. Yeah. I miss that. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. But then I... And see, that's what I was kind of saying. I don't really... I don't know a ton of that. I don't know a ton of that. I worked... Like having a job for other people I worked people a couple of small part-time out. jobs. Then I worked at Honda for a little bit. And then I had my x-ray job for about a year. And then... Yeah, I was at the university for seven years. We went full-time. So I'm very much... But I also hated it. Yeah. I hated it. There's definitely a trade-off. There's definitely a trade-off. And I think that ultimately... I think that my day-to-day mental health will and will will always be better when I'm more in control. I think we have a lot to unpack, though, in a podcast, um, from f- fluffy material to... Uh, serious. Serious. It could be good for me therapeutically. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe we could get some professionals in. You, I really want to unpack my hoardingness. <sighs> I swear. No, you don't understand. Last night, Bucky was... Um, so I bought stainless steel measuring cups from Target because they were... How like, many sets of... of- Measuring cups do you have? Hold on. I have three. Three sets. <laughs> um, with the stainless steel, I believe I have three. And I also bought... Like, I already had three. The measuring spoons, right? I've got two or three of those as well. And so we've got plastic ones where a lot of the numbers have I've rubbed off, right? Mm-hmm. They've rubbed off and you can't read it. And so he said, now, can we get rid of the ones that are in the shore? And I was like, yeah. I mean, what do we need those for? He gets a plastic bag, starts dumping them, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I, I, I'm not ready to, like... Like, throw them in the trash. We can get the, rid of them, just not today. Yeah. So, like, maybe you can put them in a bag and put them in the pantry. And if I don't remember that they're there and I don't pull for them, then maybe in six months so to a year. So, he just needs to start packing things up at you, whatever, yes. and then throwing them away when you don't know. Right. Yeah. Without your knowledge. Yeah. It gave me so much anxiety. I think I need to come clean your house. I you don't do. have that problem. I do. Now, I... It's like, okay, if you had, like, a hoarding scale, okay, and you are about right here... That's not the top. There's no. there's top. I'm, I'm saying not you're the top. right. You're right about here. I'm like down here. I have very slight tendencies where I like to keep stuff, but also when I set my mind to it, I'm throwing crap away. You see, you see that dongle sticking out of my phone right there? Yes. It's because I don't throw stuff away. I know. I don't know where my. And is, I knew though. exactly. I knew exactly where it was. I don't, knew I don't know exactly where, is. where it was. I walked to my closet and it was on top of my little, you know, that cube where I keep my jeans and stuff. Yeah. And on top, I've got some, like, perfume and, like, there's, like, a little, little catch-all tray mm-hmm. right in there. Hmm. Yep. Couldn't be me. Yeah. I know where things are. And I have a photographic memory. I do so have. So if I put something somewhere, I know where it is. I opened my, my pantry, and I do have a coffee maker from my wedding 2010. Never opened. New in the box. Wow. It's probably worth nothing. Yeah. It's Mr. Coffee. Yeah. See, the Keurig came out right after that. Or somebody might have even gotten me a Keurig. Heather got me a Keurig. Mm. So somebody got me that coffee maker because it was on my list. And it was just a potted coffee. And then Heather got me a Keurig and I was like, do you have things that people bought for you that you did not register for? And you're like, why did you, why did you go off for the register? Like go. Yeah. You and the waffle maker. I'm kidding. I bought it from your registry. (laughs) No, no, I don't. Uh, it might've been like some weird towels or something. Like someone bought me a set of silverware 
Yes. Somebody bought me silverware and mom had already bought it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I didn't even put it on my registry. I didn't have a registry for silverware because I already had silverware. Yeah. So that's why I have two sets of silverware. Yeah. Somebody bought me silverware. Somebody just decided you Pink. need silverware. And it's like, sure. no, no, I don't, ha I don't need it. I already have it. Thank you. Can't think. I do know that I highly regret registering, or not registering, but, um, which mom got me these and I'm very thankful. Um, every Christmas I would get a new set of these, the Fiesta wear dishes. Mm. They're very nice dishes. I was very obsessed with the color red. I don't know why. I know why. Why? Stony, I decorated my apartment with black and red. But this was, but this was like, it wasn't, it wasn't you. I, 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 I moved into my apartment but in I think 2008, I knew, but I think, and I started decorating with black and red. But I think I knew somebody that liked red, I mean, liked red, that had red Fiesta dishes, and I thought I liked them, and I don't. And I also have a set of yellow ones. Oh. Yeah, so I have red Ketchup and yellow. Ketchup and mustard, nice. And I nice. wish I could throw them away, but they're probably worth something. Did I whoopsie with me? No. Oh. You did. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe our podcast is, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, but we really do need, we need a name, and I feel like whatever, if you're... It should be, I am not okay. I am okay. No, no. Because sometimes you're not okay, and sometimes you're okay. Yeah. Everything's fine. It's not fine. fine. Yeah. I'm fine. So, name for a podcast, things you'd love us to talk about, and then... Not like one specific thing, like multiple things, like... Yeah. It's not it's gonna be... It's the variety open. hour. That's what I'm thinking... And also I feel like, you know, there's a chance, there's a chance that vlogs could live over here again. It could Vlo be podcast vlogs and, and vlogs. Podcast, yeah. yeah. And it might be like one vlog a week and one podcast a week. Yeah. Is what I'm kind of thinking. Right. I like that. And then 11th Gorgeous could maybe be beauty content. The vlog might be on the weekend and the podcast, maybe, maybe the podcast is like on a Thursday. Maybe the vlog's on a Sunday. Maybe. What's on Tuesday? It's a surprise. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I just know that 2023 is coming. We can't stop it. And I want it to be a year of yes as I am digesting my coffee. You know, I just, I think so many times we put rules around things we do or we're like, we can't do that because, or I don't know. And I was just thinking last night, I was laying in bed and I said, not, I didn't say, I was, my internal monologue was like, I feel like I am doing every day, like I'm trying to get to something and I don't just live in the moment and exist in what is going on day to day. And I'm like, I'm going to get to the end of my life and feel like I have just, like been I was running, running a race. Yes. Yeah. And I hate that. And so I want 2023 to be very much like I am here in this moment. This is what I'm doing and I'm enjoying it. Who knows? We might even travel. Yeah, I would like that. We got some airline miles, y'all. I want to go to Montana, Wyoming. I want to go see that place. Wait, do you know we could even take a long weekend and go to those places? Yeah. Yeah, like, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Flying on a Friday, explore Saturday, Sunday. You know when we went to Vegas and we only had like two days to explore? We, You can see yeah. a couple of places that are just epic. Because yeah. no matter what, even if you stay somewhere for like close to a week, you're still not going to see everything. So. And when you have a shorter amount of time, I feel like you really force you really yourself pack it in. to like, yeah, to do all the things and... Yeah. It's a sign. There is literally an RV going in front of us. And that's the universe. That is the universe validating that what just we are said saying. you are going to travel. Like what we were like, let me just see if I can get it so we can just insert it really quickly. Oh no. No, no, no. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, Thanks no. for blocking me. Thanks for blocking. And see, orange. That's a and warning. That that's the that's the negative side trying to show us that they're gonna block us, but no it's man. A, it's a big it's it's the lift point. You gotta lift it up, get on out of here. Get out. There, there it is, is. riding there off into the sunset. There it is. <laughs> okay, but anyway, yeah, I just, oh shoot, I forgot I have frozen stuff in my bag. It's, all it's right. fine. Everything's fine. Because <laughs> we may go for lunch today. Ooh, yes, please. I was kidding, but I, I, had love, a that. I love that burger energy. last night. And how was the bun? The bun was right. I'm gonna right? burgers again this week just so I can finish off the buns. The buns are good. Do y'all need any of those? Because we're gonna have two extra. I'm not sure. Because I, I think we may be out of meat. Well, if but. you hey, you know what? Maybe I'll get Matt to buy enough meat and I'll send you some burger meat and two burger buns because we have so we've had three. We'll have three more. So there'll be two, there'll be two buns. Yeah. And some burger meat. And you can have it. I might even have onion and all the stuff. Y'all just come on over for burgers on That's Thursday. That's what I was going to say. Oh, no. I want to go to Olive Garden. Oh, wait. It's your birthday. Y'all come on over for burgers tomorrow, tomorrow night. I could do that. I could probably do that.
probably do that. Yeah. 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 But he's got to make them juicy. He did them on Blackstone, so he did them like like were, how were they juicy or were they crispy? Oh God, they were juicy, and we didn't even use Dale's. Really? So Bucky's been doing this thing where he cooks them with onions. Bucky can help him. Yeah. We can tag team it. Yeah. At least Matt didn't blow anything up at the Blackstone last night. <laughs> yeah, Bucky's still trying to decide what kind of grill he wants. Does he not want a Blackstone maybe? No, he doesn't want a Blackstone. Oh, no, because he wants a, to be able to do he a regular like a grill. He like a combo situation. So like a regular grill with a stainless steel. Now we're talking about grills. What do you mean? I, yeah. Adults. It's, it's across the board. So like this is, this is where we're at. We want to do a podcast. January. This podcast, is our pre-podcast. Podcast, beauty videos. Vlogs, Mass and Mallory. Boutique. Um, we're also gonna try to do more TikToks. Um, and get in the gym. And do the gym. So it's gonna be a fun filled year of 2023. You're gonna see a lot of us. And you're I gonna think, hear a lot of us. Yeah, I think you need to make sure you're subscribed in all the places. And like I said, I would love to know if this is the first time you're seeing us in a long time on this channel. And you know, do you watch us on 11th Gorgeous? Do you shop our boutique? Are you familiar with Madison and Mallory? What should we call our podcast? Yeah, where's your favorite place to listen to podcasts? Does it matter? Can you put them in all the places? You can put them in all the places, I think. Um, the only difference is if you get a, like, if people have deals. So, like, some people will have, like, a Spotify deal where, mm -hmm. like, they get paid X amount of money to make oh. them live only on Spotify. Oh, that probably won't be us. No. <laughs> no, but people that, and also if it's hosted. No, it's the year of yes. It can, also, of yes. it can also be hosted by a media company. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like a network, kind of like all the stuff in Hollywood. They have their yeah. agencies that yeah. also get them radio I mean not radio ad spots also what is your favorite length of podcast do you like a 20 minute a 40 minute an hour 30 minutes I'm probably like a 30 to 45 minute it if I and I watch mine I don't listen to them mm -hmm. I don't I don't we don't have a long enough commute to really get into a podcast when we worked in She's cute. the when we worked in the um she her like claw work, clip. She looks like she'd work at a boutique. Y'all, speaking of, we were here at Starbucks like a week ago and we saw this really cute girl in there and Steph goes, she looks like she should work for us. <laughs> and like she had that like vibe where it was yeah. like, like she, she looked, cared about like her fashion and like her vibe. Yeah, she was know. really cute. And I was like, she looks like a hairstylist. a hairstylist or she looks like she works somewhere like Mac or like, like a makeup she just had artist. She really good hair. And she was really pretty. And Steph was like, and they said her name. I found and her. I, no, I found I, her. Oh, you found her. I, yeah. went to, I went to high school with her. Yeah, I found her in like two seconds. Two seconds. Like, like I didn't even. Well, I say it like I should have known her. Have you seen our high school TikToks? was big? And I think she was like two years younger. Her high school was not big. It it was big enough to not know somebody that was two grades you below know you. you know high school was big. Heather's was big. No, Heather's was big, but ours was decently big. And Heather's was only three grades. I think that our school had at least a thousand people in it. Have you seen those TikToks where... If there's a thousand people, do you think you're going to know somebody who's three, two or three grades Our high school you? did not have a thousand people. My graduating class had 200 something people. Our high school did not have a thousand people. I promise you it did not have a thousand people. Maybe 700. No. Oh my God. Have you seen those TikToks where the girl, someone will comment and they won't have a profile picture. It might be like a cartoon or something and it'll have one name and they'll be like, I bet you can't figure out who I am. And they'll be like, oh, Sarah from Orlando, born in 1987. And, like, she just figures out who they are. That's crazy. It's so cool. I'm not that level, Terrifying. but but sometimes we sometimes we dabble. Yeah. I look people up. Yeah. I look people up a lot. You know, it's so funny because we're in this boutique group on Facebook, and recently someone posted and said, what company do you use for background checks? And Facebook? <laughs> yeah, someone said that. And I was like, we just look on social media. Yeah, I look on social media. I mean... Uh, you can get most of what you need to know about a person the good for thing the most is, part. is that most of the people that have worked for us, well, a chunk of them have been... Um, we didn't know them, but like I think they were like mutual friends, essentially. Like We, we ran in the same town area, if that makes sense. Like, we had, like, one of our cousins worked with us for a little bit. I mean, th then we have some people that, are, that were complete strangers. Like, Kelsey yeah. and Maddie, we didn't know. Well, I mean, but Maddie was kind of recommended by Jace Hope. And, but Jace Hope, we didn't know. Yeah. And, like, Bailey came through Dakota, like, because, like, Dakota went to school with her. Yeah. And so, like, we've had some kind of, like, reference-y situations where yeah. it's like, I know this person, yeah. We basically already had their references and their, like, recommendations, yeah. like, before they even We've been lucky with us, so. All right. Name for a podcast. 
all the questions. This coffee's hitting me in the wrong way. Oh, wow. Yeah. And just, I think 2023, even now, like if you're watching us on 11th Gorgeous, you're, you're getting the vlogs from Vlogmas. So you're going to be seeing more of us. It's going to be a fun, exciting year, no matter what. We're deciding it. And I hope that you decide to have an amazing year. Do stuff. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Start a business? Yes. Start some social media? Yes. Do the things that you want to do and don't put them off because life is chaotic and amazing and short and you never know what it's going to bring you. And so you have to live like there's no tomorrow. But also remember there is tomorrow. So if you've got to do things with like deadlines and stuff like that, don't forget about that because I am very type A and that stresses me out. So like don't leave off the important things. But you wait till the last minute, don't you? Well, I, do. I know how long it takes me to accomplish something and I need that deadline. Study the night before a yes. Write the paper the night before a yes. I need that deadline. And also something I've learned about why I'm so like messy in my bedroom and stuff is there are no consequences. My, my only consequence is I have to live with that mess, but there is nothing. Like, I'm not going to get in trouble. I'm not going to get grounded. You know what my problem is? What? I'm a guilt-ridden person. We need to unpack all this in the podcast. I know. I'm telling yeah, you, yeah. I, I am driven by guilt. I am driven by 100% and guilt. And right now, you feel guilty about not being at the office. Yes, I feel guilty about not being there, but then, and like. that's what I'm telling you. When I'm gone all day, I feel guilty to my dog. Listen. My consequence. I don't need consequences. Do you know? You know how you had issues where you didn't want to go to class when you were in college because nobody was going to tell. You weren't going to get in trouble. Yeah. You didn't have consequences. Yeah. I was guilty. Yeah, no. Mm-mm, nope. I, didn't, I, I felt bad if I didn't I was go. Like, I was disappointing I was like, everybody. Finally, I don't have to go to class. I've been doing this for the largest part of my life, and now no one cares if I show up. Like, when I started watching, like, more of what I was eating, I turned treating myself into, which I've gotten better about. This is not a current problem I have, but something I used to have problems with was making myself feel guilty. Because Tracy would have to tell me, like, this is not going to, like, this is fine. You can have can have these y'all my eyes twitching right now (laughs) but Uh, i'm serious like i guilt is a it can be it can be a good thing it can it can make you an honest person but it can also drive you you crazy well Well, that's the thing i'm talking about like don't waste the time in your brain in this moment feeling like you should be at the office yeah because we're doing something we want to do right now but also like when you were talking about not cleaning your house that's where my guilt so like if i leave dishes in the sink nobody's gonna do anything but I know those dishes are in the sink mm-hmm. and I'm guilty for leaving them and I'm lazy. No, see, I don't have that guilt. I just have, have that, ugh, I'm tired of looking at it. I get to a breaking point where I'm like, I'm putting it Sometimes away. I'll go and I'll take a cup and I'll go to put it in the sink and I'm like, I'm not putting it in the dishwasher. I put it in the sink and I go, God dang it. And I just go put it in the dishwasher. No, and especially if it starts building up, I'm like, that's because there's still clean dishes in the dishwasher that nobody has decided it's time for them to go back to their home. And I don't want to do that right now, so it's going in the sink. We're not the same, and you'll find that out on our podcast. Oh, yeah. We're different. We're definitely different people. Same but different. Same but different. Okay. We need a podcast name. We need all the questions. There's something going on down there. That's the second or third cop. Fantastic. Well, we'll be sure to avoid that direction. We'll go that way. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video if you watched it, and if you are coming across it and haven't subscribed, we'd love it if you subscribed, and if you liked it, and turned on notifications, and did all the things, and gonna be the year yes and a lot of fun things and I don't I don't care what happens I don't care I don't care we're gonna do it all right guys peace (laughs) you said peace because you did it yeah (laughs)